Today marks a dark anniversary at Boston's Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. It was 33 years ago that thieves disguised as police gained entry to the place, tied up the guards, and made off with 13 pieces of art, art valued at roughly $500 million. But as WBZ's Jordan Jagelinzer explains, the museum didn't open today, concerned that climate change protesters might descend on the place. Oh, Disappointed visitors at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum today shocked to learn that the doors were closed. We show up and read the sign and like, what? According to the museum, the closure was related to a protest that museum authorities feared could damage the works of art inside. I have been worried because they've been doing these demonstrations in Europe where they've been gluing their fingers to the tomato and throwing tomato soup but not damaging artworks. But it's dangerous. Not great timing for this family on vacation from Louisiana, excited to see the historic Gardner Museum. We came from New Orleans. I mean, took a 30-minute train to get here. <laughs> but it was definitely big on our list of places to go. The closure comes on the anniversary of the day when thieves disguised as Boston police officers convinced two security guards to let them inside. The guards were then tied up in the basement while 13 pieces of art were stolen. They come every year on March 18th, last eight or nine years, to look at the empty frames. The empty frames a reminder of the lost art once inside and the $10 million reward still up for grabs for anyone with information leading to the art. This is 33 years since the heist, and um, I truly believe that works will be returned. A story that continues to draw these crowds unable to take advantage of the iconic Boston spot today. But the museum is offering full reimbursements and the options to choose a ticket for a different day. I've been trying to come see this museum for a while now, so, but we'll have to try next time. In Boston, Jordan Jagelins, WBZ News.